The 2019 Renault Capture Coupe Renault's got big plans for its capture lineup, and it seems that one of those plans involve rolling out a new coupe crossover that will make its debut in concept form at the 2018 Moscow Motor Show. The French automaker has rolled out at the first teaser of the concept, but more importantly, a heavily camouflaged test prototype has been seen rolling on the streets recently. By all accounts, this test mule is an early production version of the Moscow-bound concept that we will see this August. It's already pegged to get the Capture Coupe name, and it will likely be shared with Dacia using the same nameplate. Exterior We don't get any specific hints on the design of the Capture Coupe, but we do get a good look at the overall shape of the crossover. We don't get any specific hints on the design of the Capture Coupe, but we do get a good look at the overall shape of the crossover. From the looks of it, the test prototype has all the physical traits of a coupe-infused crossover, right down to the sloping roofline in the rear. Speaking of the rear, notice how it rides higher than your standard SUVs? That's another trademark design element among coupe crossovers. There are a few intriguing elements, too, particularly the bumps on the hood that may or may not be anything at all. We also see what appears to be a row of LED lights in the mold of what the Bugatti Chiron has. I never thought I'd get to compare the Chiron with a Renault Coupe crossover, but the similarities in the layout of those lights are pretty impossible to ignore. Other than those observations and the presence of some expected equipment, not surprising that there's only one exhaust if this model is being prepared to be cheap and affordable, the test prototype of the Renault Capture Coupe looks promising. Let's just hope that the next time we see in the wild, it's going to shed some of that swirly skin. Interior Note, standard Renault Capture pictured here. We don't get to see anything inside the test prototypes, but it's not hard to imagine that with this model being included in the Capture lineup, it should get a similar, albeit sportier, version of the Capture's cabin. If that ends up being the case, the Capture Coupe could feature a few leather trim elements on the dashboard, seats, and doors. The center console could also continue its minimalist look, though a few added sporty trim elements shouldn't be dismissed outright. The console does get an infotainment system and a few knobs and buttons to account for some functions. Most of the materials, though, should be made from plastic for reasons that are clear. The most interesting element of the Capture Coupe's interior is going to be the seating layout. The crossover is expected to have room for five occupants, but by the nature of its coupe-inspired styling, it's going to be interesting how Renault addresses the interior space, particularly in the rear where the headroom is probably going to be compromised by the sloping roof. However the cabin ends up looking, don't expect the world out of it. If anything, lowering those expectations might be the better way to go. Drivetrain the Renault Capture Coupe will be powered by a range of familiar gasoline and diesel turbo engines. The Renault Capture Coupe will be powered by a range of familiar gasoline and diesel turbo engines. If the menu of capture engines is included in the coupe crossover, we can expect it to feature a 0.9 liter 3 cylinder with 90 horsepower and 100 pound feet of torque, a 1.2 liter 4 cylinder with 116 horsepower and 140 pound feet of torque, or a 1.5 liter diesel with 90 ponies and an impressive 162 pound feet of twist. I do expect the capture coupe to be offered in more power form that would fit into its sporty personality. Perhaps Renault can fit a bigger 2.0-liter four-cylinder into the Capture Coupe, big enough to help it produce around 160 to 180 horsepower. The four-cylinder engine from the Megane is a likely candidate, but until we get confirmation from the French automaker itself, it's hard to assume exactly how much power the Capture Coupe has packed in its arsenal. Prices Pricing is still a mystery, but we can look at the Capture for a bit of reference. The base trim, called the Capture Play, starts at £15,300. That converts to just over $20,000 based on current exchange rates. The mid-level trim is the Capture Iconic, and that starts £16,500, or about $21,800. Then there's the range-topping Capture GT line, which starts at £18,300, or a little over $24,000. 
Using these prices as a reference, it wouldn't be surprising if the Capture Coupe is priced somewhere closer to the Capture GT line, maybe even a little higher. I'm throwing a dart blind on a dartboard here, but I'm thinking that the Capture Coupe will be priced at £20,000 when it hits the market in the next few years. That converts to about $26,000, putting it in the price range of rival models. Competition Volkswagen Taigun The Volkswagen Taigun isn't sold in a lot of market around the world but you can be sure that once the Renault Capture Coupe arrives, the Taigun is going to be on of the models it sets its sights on. The Volkswagen crossover is a lot of things, but it does provide make for a good option among this who are looking into buying a cheap coupe-like crossover. It's powered by a 1.0-liter TSI engine that delivers a total of 110 horsepower and 129 pound-feet of torque. With a total weight of 2,171 pounds, the concept will sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.2 seconds and up to a top speed of 115 miles per hour. Pricing for the Taigun starts at around $20,000. Read our full review on the 2016 Volkswagen Taigun concept. Citroen C3 Aircross There's probably no entry-level crossover in the market now that's as unique to look at as the C3 Aircross. It has a funky design with rounded edges and big bulbous shapes dominating its puffed-up outline. It also has a wide range of engine options that produce anywhere from 68, 82, and 110 horsepower. It also carries diesel engines that produce 75 and 100 horsepower, respectively. Pricing for the Citroen C3 Aircross starts at £14,000 and goes all the way up to £20,000. That converts to around $18,000 to $26,000. Read our full review on the 2018 Citroen C3 Aircross. Conclusion Just when you thought the coupe crossover segment couldn't get any more crowded, Renault's entering the party with a model that's being developed specifically for the masses. The Capture Coupe could be an important model for the French automaker as it tries to break into a somewhat new territory for itself. With the Capture crossover already proving its worth in the market, this was a gamble that Renault had to take. As long as it develops the Capture Coupe with the same verve as it did with the crossover, there's no reason why this model isn't going to be popular itself. Love it has loads of sales potential could turn into the best looking version of the Capture very intriguing if packaged properly. Leave it needs more power than the capture to identity itself as a sporty model lots of competitors in the market timetable is still up in the air. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.